Hi, I wanted to share with you a couple of tips about using classes within uh, Circuit Studio. Classes are something which is quite important within Audium Designer and uh, obviously when they made Circuit Studio they've pulled all of the tools for classes out because, uh, well, it's the lower end product. But some bits of it still remain and uh, it still has some uh, important uses for setting design rules on your PCB. So the, I guess the first question is, well, how do you actually get them onto a schematic? Because if I go to directives, it's missing all of the directives that would be there within uh, Outium Designer. However, what you can do is get a directive for one of the two that are actually there. Double click on it, and this is the same uh, window you get within Outium Designer. So you can actually change it to uh, a, a class directive from there. So what we do is just call it a, a class class name. Well, actually, the the name of uh, of this doesn't actually change matter too much. What does matter? as we add a parameter of the name class name and give it uh, give it the name of the class name that you wanted. So I'll put these on the power traces so I'll call it power rail. So now we have the same uh, same object as you would expect within our Tim designer. So I'll put one of those onto both the 15 volt rails so they now belong to the class power rail. Now when you come across and import changes, this is a blank PCB just from the start. I'll execute all of those. I'll probably skip this bit because it'll take forever. Okay, so that's done. And the important bit here is it's added net class members, the, the positive and negative 15 volt rails to the power rail class. Okay, so what can you actually do with that now you've uh, got them added to, to a class? Well, if you're used to Atium Designer, you'll note that we don't, we can't sort by classes here. Um, we've also got no, uh, we've got none of the tools for uh, managing classes or anything like that. But the one thing you can do with it is set design rules. So let's set a width rule uh, for our particular power class. Go to the rule wizard, uh, width constraints, Go to advanced, and then you can go belongs to a net class. So in this case, I'll select the power rail class. Yep, and uh, that'll be priority one, so it actually takes precedence. Now we can give it a proper name. And so you can see here is uh, in Outium Designer, they would normally have. Um, a whole bunch of text fields here where you could actually edit these matching criteria but it's it's all missing it so it doesn't work you actually have to do it outside of uh, circuit studio if you want to by exporting editing it in a text editor and then bring it back in if uh, if you need to but it's often easier just to use the rule wizard so just to show that this works let's give them all a 20 mil width and hit apply so if I go across to one of these uh, op amps now, you can see, and I do a route. That's a 10 mil trace, which is the standard default, because I haven't imported any of my rules yet. But I come across to the 15 volt trace, and now that's automatically becomes a 20 mil trace. So that's that's pretty much all there is to using. Uh, using net classes within Circuit Studio, there's not a heck of a lot else that I've found you can do with them because uh, because a lot of the tools have been removed, but it is still very useful for that. It's also worth noting that you can set uh, set class names on, on components as well. So you do that by adding the class name tag. A component class to any particular component and you can also do it do the same thing on uh, the parameter section of sheet symbols and then any components within that sheet symbol will belong to that class. I'm not actually sure how useful that is now without uh, without the ability to to um, or all the all the normal tools you would use within Outium Designer for classes. I think it's really just useful on nets now but uh, but it is there and if you do find a uh, 
a good use for it, let us know. Thanks very much.